Barbies Underwater Invention. <laughs> right in let's explore let's begin under the sea there's so much to see come along with gabby swim so high swim so low where the ocean wonders grow fish and friends wave so blue an adventure just for you Hello, ocean explorers. Today, we're traveling to ice-filled Arctic waters to meet the narwhal, the unicorn of the ocean. Ready to swim with these magical creatures. Look at that long spiral tusk. That's actually an elongated tooth from the upper jaw. Only male narwhals and some females grow this special tusk. It can reach up to three meters long. Narwhals live where water meets sea ice, up to 1,800 meters deep. They dive to find fish, squid, and shrimp. Sometimes they poke their tusks through holes in the ice to breathe. They travel in pods of 5 to 20 narwhals, chatting with clicks and whistles. Listen to their sonar song. Narwhals use echolocation, sending out clicks to see in the dark water. The echoes guide them to prey and keep pods together. Did you know narwhals use their tusks to sense temperature, pressure, and water chemistry? Their tusk has tiny sensor pores, like a magic wand in the ocean. You did a tusk-tastic job, ocean explorers. Thanks for swimming with narwhals today. See you next time for more underwater magic. Thanks for joining our adventure today. See you next time for more fun beneath the wave. Wow, that was so fun, little adventurers. It's quiz time, little ones. Time to test your sea smarts. Let's dive into the quiz. Question one, what is a narwhal's tusk? Is the correct answer? A, a horn from its forehead. B, a long spiral tooth. C, a piece of driftwood. D, a special fin. E, a snowflake. Let's make a splash and uncover the answer. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. The correct answer is B a long spiral tooth. You did great, explorers. Let's move to the next question. Question two, how do narwhals see in deep water? Hmm, could the answer be? A, with glowing eyes. 
B. By following the fish. C. By using a flashlight. D. By echolocation clicks. E. By touching the seabed. Let's make a splash and uncover the answer. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. The correct answer is D, by echolocation clicks. Awesome. Explorers, let's move to the next question. Question three, where do narwhals live? Is it A, tropical reefs? B freshwater rivers, C, Arctic seas under ice, D, open ocean only, E, mountain lakes. Let's make a splash and uncover the answer. Ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. The correct answer is C, Arctic seas under ice. Yes, narwhals live in the Arctic seas under ice. It's very cold for me and you explorers, but not for our unicorn of the ocean friends. Great job, let's keep going. Question four, what can narwhals sense with their tusks? Is the correct answer? A, temperature, pressure, water chemistry. B, color of fish. C, air temperature. D, moon phases. E, time of day. Let's make a splash and uncover the answer. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. The correct answer is A, temperature, pressure, water chemistry. Well done! You remember the three things narwhal can sense with their tusks. You are really smart ocean explorers. Next question. Question five. Narwhals travel in groups called ocean explorers. Is the correct answer? A, flocks. B, herds. C, pods. D, crews. E, packs. Let's make a splash and uncover the answer. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. The correct answer is C, pods. Yes, a group of narwhals traveling together is called a pods. Well done. Explorers, you solved all our underwater quizzes for episode five of Gabby's Underwater Adventures. I'm so proud of you. Join us next time for another adventure in the deep blue. See you next wave, brave adventures. The tide is low, it's time to go. But we'll be back before you know. Swim, swim, see you soon. Underneath the bright blue moon. Friends and fun, we can't wait for another underwater day. The tide is low, it's time to go But we'll be back before you know Swim, swim, see you soon Underneath the bright